All right, welcome back everyone to Ark Survival Ascended here. So, let's see here. All right, we came back. We had a Dodicarus. We had a Mouse Chops. Uh, we got um, Argentavis as well, that episode. So, we got a lot of stuff last time. Last time. Got also a Beaver. Okay, that's not good. That's not good. Where is it? Uh oh, I stuffed it off in here, didn't I? Yes. Okay, there's my Argentavis. That's worried. And you are an adult now. So our moss chop is now an adult. We can just write him if we want to. And he will harvest us more fiber than the berries. You can see. Make you like your friend. <laughs> Going a couple episodes ago. Okay. So let's get his stamina up more. And then his weight. So he got us over 2,000. Um, but we also need to do this special harvesting. Whoops. So I'm going to want him to do... So we get leech blood, mirror mushrooms, rare flowers, raw prime fish, and sap. Uh, we're going to grab the organic polymer. If he's going to harvest anything, he's going to do us with the organic polymer. There we go. So.
should have some uh, seeds. We should be getting some seeds. You off in here. All right. Um, so we now have 5,000, 5,500 fiber. So we should be good for a little bit of fiber for a while. Let us out our Argentavas and let's go see if we can find a, um, Let's see if we can find us an Ankylosaurus here. The Basilosaurus. Level 60. Interesting. No, for an Ankylosaurus, didn't we find them on, like, that mountain ledge as we went around the edge of the map? I think we did, but let's just go out and check out the world. If we don't find them this episode, we'll find them next episode. Damage this time around, thank you. Get that melee damage up there in case we need to kill something that's in our way. Fifty of one and on. Um, wait, what is this? Yeah, it's a bunch of stone things. Uh. I'll take the uh, tree tap sap, but and the mushrooms, but I don't need any of the other stuff. We can use the uh, tree tap sap later. I'm wondering if they were like up here, like around this area and around the ice area is what I'm thinking. So let's go up there because that's where they are on the island is up here on that. So let's head towards our... Hmm. And let's head up that way. I'm not going to go out of the way for drops, but if we pass near one, we'll go get it. I'm not going to worry about that blue drop over there. Is it me or what's it? No, it was uh, Argentavis here. Still heading in the correct direction? Nope. 
I want to go that way. Yep. Head toward the fog. Mm-hmm. So here's the swamp, it looks like. Okay. So this will probably be where we find our baryonyx and things. Bees of buffalo, all that good stuff. Leeches. <laughs> Pretty sure that's what this is. Yeah, this is a... Yeah, this is a deal. There's a sarco. So this is the swamp area of the map. Okay. Pretty sure we're not going to find an Ankylosaurus in the swamp area. That to just start raining. Let's go more this way. Here is the reason that the name is Map the Center. This right here. It's the center of the map. Right here in this area. Lots of carnivores, if I remember correctly, around here. I think this is where you find your... Uh, your Gigantosauruses. Uh, big dinos. Meat-eater dinos. Is this area? I'm not sure. Nothing in there that I want. Let's go on up. Mm. Try not to get hit by lightning. We can. Take a seat right here. An Argentavis over there. There's an Allosaurus right there. A couple of Argentavises fighting some saber teeth, it looked like. Some more Allosaurus. Okay, here's the ice. Here's some ice areas over here. No, I don't even think you can get to the middle of the map without a flyer. The island in the middle. I don't think you can. At least I haven't seen, seen it done. So maybe there's some way to do it. But I don't think there is.
Looks like we're back down to a swampy area, maybe, down here. Yeah, because these guys are here. The Parasithium are going to be in the swampy areas. They live there. Let's get up here to the cold area. Hopefully it's not going to be too cold. I do have an Ascendant Torch, so that'll, like, really help me out. If I need it. What's my cold res right now? 13, 13. I think we'll be fine. Maybe. Uh, there's a 135 Rex. Is that the only one? It's fighting something. It won against something. The Carnotaurus 140. You know, I kind of like to get that Rex, but that's not what we're here for right now. I'm just going to pass on it. We're looking for an Ankylosaurus. Got some Argenteus in here. Yeah, they're usually here. Um, is that a dire wolf? No, that's one of those wool things. It's not the wool thing. It's the... Uh, still there. Okay, it's a mammoth. It's one it's level 55. Uh, there's a Arno, 145. The family of Carnos, because there's a Carno baby there. 95. So the baby belongs to the 95. So far, we're not cold, which is good. I mean, we really shouldn't be with 400 fortitude, but you never can tell with this game. That's why I allow myself to get that much fortitude, is because the game's, the game's cold and heat system is broken. I'm sorry to say it's just totally broken. It doesn't work like it's intended to. It's way off what it should be. Gonna look, I was looking to see if there's like anything around that would try to eat me so I know what's around, but I don't see anything really. Interestingly enough. Can't see anything. Okay. I hear what sounds like the bats, surprisingly. But I mean, if it's that dark and it's that dark all the time there, I guess. I have no dinos around me. That is really weird. I'm going to go over here to Green Ob, see if there's anything around it. There's usually dinosaurs around the obelisk. But nothing. There's an Argentavis. There's a Matt Woolly Rhino. Okay. So at least some dinos are around. There's an iceberg right next to Green Ob. Hmm. Why? Is my question. Woo, that was some lightning. Uh, I think that mammoth is kind of, like, in trouble. That's a pack of dire wolves. Yeah, he got eaten. Of course, it looks like they lost, like, a couple of dire wolves.
lots of woolly mammoths. Uh, uh, not mammoths, but rhinos uh, at Ob. Green Ob. I wonder if we go over here. Yeah, it looks like there's penguins on the iceberg. I was wondering if there would be. Yep. Penguin iceberg. Great. That's good to know. Uh, ping iceberg. Well, it's good to know that there's a ping and iceberg around. Thirty mammoths. There's a lot of mammoths on this map I've seen so far. we've seen so far. Just a lot of them. No angular sources yet. I'm wondering if I'm in the right location or not. I can't remember. I know we saw a couple when we were doing our, our run around earlier in the series. I just don't remember where they were. I didn't mark them on the map. I should have marked them on the map. A one fifty saber tooth. I don't think I can pass that up. I'm going to run over here. He's taking the rhino. He killed the cat. Damn. What did the uh, woolly mammoth want? What do you want? Uh, it's a 140. Uh, Medu berries. Okay, I kind of thought you might like that. Trying to find some grass. Uh, I don't. No.
I wasn't expecting to tame this, so I'm not going to worry about going and trying to get, like, kibble for it or anything. I would have brought the kibble with me if I was going to tame something like this. Uh, if I do medjo berries, it's going to take 67 medjo berries. He should be knocked out for a while. Yeah, he's still knocked out for a while. What are we doing on measure berries? Crack these. There is not many things over here. I'm I'm pushing E and I'm getting nothing. I'm trying. There we go. We got a little bit of something right here. I've done lost whatever it was. And I've just fell down the cliff. That's going to hurt. Yeah, I don't know what to do. I can't find, uh...
wasn't expecting to get a mammoth. <laughs> but m I was trying to get the saber tooth. The 150 saber tooth, man. Oh. Don't just take it a little bit. Seventy four percent taming, seventy nine, eighty one, eighty four, eighty seven, eighty nine, ninety two, ninety four, ninety seven, and ninety nine. There we go. All right. So take you. Me those back. Need some fiber and some hide. Hide, have fiber. Yeah. All right. We now have a mammoth. Not what I was expecting, but it is what it is. All right, back to the Ankylosaurus search. Maybe a saber tooth as well if we find another one that's level 150. Hey, there's an Ankly right there. It's a level 20. Okay, so we found a level 20. I didn't pick it up. I need to go back around and try again. Here we go. So now that we found an Ankly, let us sit right here, open up the map. Um, waypoints. Waypoint 5, delete. Okay, and then let us go to open the finder, look for an Ankly, Ankylosaurus, minimum level 140 search there's a 150 right there okay i was surprised i found that one <laughs> i wasn't expecting them to be here but there you go so here's a male ankly that's one level 150 right up here I'm gonna go grab it and take it back to base um Yep, it's right here in the tree. How you doing? We're going to take a trip. We're going to take a trip together. Alright, so let me go ahead and close the finder. Open the finder. Clear the dino finder. Close the finder. There we go. That's a green Eutotranus, level 15. Let's go higher. I don't want his roar to hear me, and then I lose control, and then I lose the Anki. Yeah, kind of not wanting to do that. So I'm going to need to find a place to put down here. Maybe we can find a spot over here on the middle island. I don't know. Hopefully so. Hopefully somewhere he won't wander off. Here's is a Quetzal. A 140 Quetzal. That's interesting. Problem is, is this is a swampy area, so there's going to be shit everywhere. Yeah, let's get over here to the island. Maybe there, on the edge of this cliff, there's nothing there. If there's nothing there, then there's nothing should be able to get up there. Except for maybe an Argentavis, but I think we'll be fine here. Yeah. Just got to watch and make sure he don't wander off the edge. Or 
our stamina back. Go. Drop. What do you got in you anyway? Uh, it won't let me know. I guess it doesn't let you know until you fall. All the way. I thought it would. All right. We're heading back to base to tame us an Inklio. But we got the main ones we wanted. I'm trying to think. I think I'd be, I think one of the other things I'm going to want is a Therizinosaurus. At least one. I would like to get a Pelagornis. Because Pelagornis have a lot of um, uh, organic polymer. We do have the moss chops though. But I don't know if I want to carry the moss chops all the way there, carry it all the way back, and things like that. I could just ride the Pelagornis there, harvest, and then ride the Pelagornis back. I would just be taking an extra dino that I didn't need to take and things like that. It also does it has, I, we put this stuff into the organic polymer. I just don't know if it's high enough level to beat out a Pelagornis really. Got some artifacting in the clouds here. Around 2000 is usually when I, when I'm carrying a dino like this, a t dino I want to tame around 2000 is when I start looking for a place to sit down to keep my tame safe while my stamina recharges around 2000 is where I start looking. Cause it could take me until a thousand to find a good spot. Because we don't want to put something down and then a raptor come along and just start eating it because it'll run away. And if we're on the edge of the cliff, it's going to run off the cliff. And then, yeah, it's not going to be good. All right, so it's time to start looking around for a spot to sit down for a little bit. Maybe this guy won't wander off. I think that's a little bit too rocky. Um, we could go over here, maybe where this tree is. It's big enough. Uh, we could also go right there if there's nothing up there. I don't know. It looks like there's something white there. No, it might be just a flower. No, it's crystal. Okay. Well, we're going to want to use him later on to get the crystals as well. Um, if I'm mining metal with an Ankylosaurus, I usually just... Um, I usually just get... Um, the... Uh, I'll just carry him. But if I'm going for like crystal or obsidian or something, I don't... I don't think they auto-mine the crystal or the obsidian... They might. I can't remember. But if they don't, I usually... I, even if they do, I usually just ride them around for that because it's such a tiny size of those things that it's easier for me to just ride the Ankleo around myself to get them. But the metals, you can. I just usually carry the Ankle to pick up metal. We should have more than enough stamina to get back to the starter base now. Just get him back, get him tamed up. Yeah, we're running low. We're running low on trank darts. I did make all that uh, narcotics, but I didn't turn it into the two times two times narcotic. We might start, since we have all these dinos, we might start using an uh, even higher tier trank. It's just we got to think, if we if we make 100 narcotics, that only means we can make 50 tyrocotics times 2. 
and then we can only make uh three times narcotics times 25 it just it just exponentially increases as we go this one seems kind of like a blue white type of dino here colored inky so it's nice kind of silvery a little bit maybe in the blue part all right so let's drop you off here set you over here you are set to passive all right all right time to tame you up Don't head to the water. And you're out. All right. So let's see. What does an Ankylio 150 need? Ankylosaurus. Level 150. You want regular kibble times four. Or times two, according to this thing. Okay, we'll try the times two. Two regular kibble. According to our, um, our, um, dino, uh, dino spyglass, we only need two uh, regular kibble. So we're going to pop one of those into you. Your food's dropping. And give you the two kibble. And there you go. Two kibble is all you needed, like it said. So we now have a male Ankylosaurus that I would like everybody to name if they would like to. So... I'm going to pop you here. We're going to pop you onto passive. All right, so we need to go make an Ankylosaurus saddle. Do that real quick. So, um, Ankylosaurus, Ankylo saddle. Oh, that's such a craft. How's it going, sir? There you go. Have a saddle. Yes. This should be done with the metal. This was from the uh, Tech Triceratops we uh, found before. that came from this deposit in fact let me go to our dude right here let's deposit this whatever it can be here all right so what do we got here that I gotta take care of Raw meat, regular kibble, a woolly rhino horn. Okay. So the woolly, the rhino horn goes over here into this thing, I know. Raw meat can go into the spooler. And then the... Um, The regular kibble, I'm not sure where I'm going to want it to go. Uh, oh, yeah, we were going to make some uh, jars, weren't we? 
because we need these. We can make 12 of them. We need one for each type. That is one, two, three, four, five, six. So we just need six of these. Is that going? For now, I'm just gonna throw the mammoth in here. We'll take care of that later. Let's go back up to the narcotics deal. And turn those into the times five. Okay, so that's all crafting. All right, so let's go grab some metal with our new Ankly here. Come on with me. I think we can also use the Ankleo to get flint out of stone. The Dodecarus only gives you stone. It doesn't give you flint. So, but I think the Ankly here will give us uh, stone, uh, flint if we use him for stone. But I think we have to do that manually. I don't think we can, like, have him do it by carrying him. So let's get another deal there. At least a thousand, and then I'll probably start increasing hit points again. All right, so what do we got here? So they should just start harvesting for us. There, there it goes. Push X for your air brake. Takes him about four hits to break through. Okay, let's see, is there any more metal in this area? Any higher metal or anything? Not that I can see right now. There's some crystal here and some metal. Okay. But this might be a dangerous area. I don't know what would be around here. Just had to get him at the right angle. He, I think he always turns to the uh, left like this. So we have to be where he can swing around. This seems to be a big metal node. Took him a lot longer to break that one. That's a lot of crystal in this area. Also, it gets kind of annoying trying to find the right spot for him as well. Come 
Come on, man. I know you're not full. There's no way you are. All right, so I need you to um, be neutral. There's no way this guy's full, is he? No, he's nowhere near full. I do need to get his uh, melee attack up, though, so he gets more. There he goes. It's giving me about two to three weight per hit of things. I think so. I'm probably going to put him down and get some crystal as well, so just going to sit him down. It doesn't... Surprisingly, there doesn't seem to be anything up here, which is nice. That doesn't mean it's always going to be like this, so we do have to check around every time we come up here. Apparently he got a tree. <laughs> he is pretty full now, though. I'm going to fill up the rest of the way on crystal. He has 555 crystal, 2,500 metal ingots. Damn. Nice. And this is why you want an ink lead. They just harvest even more efficient than your metal tools can. He had to defecate, and now he, and he had to level up animation at the same time. So he didn't know what the hell to do with himself.
trying to think of what I would raise. I guess I'd go up to like 500 on everything. Let's get her weight up. Yeah, he's already back down to 400, just 174. Because I took all that st extra stuff out of him. That they can, they can hold a lot of metal. It's just, you got to also kind of think about how you're going to carry that back home as well. I'm hoping to get like 5,000. If I can get 5,000, I might be able to think about getting a forge, an industrial forge. I think I have the ability to make that. Yeah, I can make the D plus industrial forge. No, I got to get to level 80 to get it, though. Okay. More and more metal as we level. We have 4,300 now. But we also have 1512 crystal. Go see Argentavis and drop off some things. To... Also, I also think I'll try and pick up um, our friendo here. See what he's got. Okay, Argentavis has not even got much in his inventory, and now you don't either, so let's go and get some more metal here. So this is a nice metal spot here at um, around 53.6, 63.1. Bunch of crystal and things. And a lot of metal.
their metal is at 5,000. All right, we're ready to go then. Four twenty one. Yep. Reduction on the Ankylosaurus for metal, reduction on the Argentavis for metal stacks. So yeah. And the and the uh and the Ankylosaurus is pretty much loaded up. We have all that extra stuff on our Argentavis as well. I mean I do have like three thousand weight, right? What's the weight on the Argentavis? 2,002 2, weight. So, yeah. I do have a lot of weight, though, as well. Helps. So let's get back to base and drop off here. I want to get both of our dinos in. Oh. Okay, so here's a test. What happens if we have two dinos in the area? Does it take from both? Or does it take from one at a time? So let's see what we got. You, okay. You got unloaded. And you got unloaded. Yes, that's what we want right there. Boom, boom. All right. So that metal should be out here, right? Yep. Metal. 1250. 1250. 1250 and 1250. All right. Uh, I'm going to need some spark powder, most likely, to split this up. That's all I have is 100. Um, you draw it all, draw all of it. There we go. So let's put this here, put this here, put this here, and let's go make some more. We'll drop the, uh, Free tap off in here. Go all the seeds in here. So let's go up here. Let's grab all of these. And then let's go over here. Okay. Uh, drop those in there. Actually, I'm going to have to make those in my deal here. And I want, yeah, let's do the spark powder here and grab. Um, so, what am I looking for now? I'm looking for the arrows, the time five trank arrows. I have a hundred of those. Oh, I didn't take the uh, deals. That's fine. Just got to walk slowly back up there while I'm crafting. Okay, grab. Um, nope, it's in here. The spark powder. Craft another hundred. That should give me enough for... Um, Put another hundred in each of them. Actually, I might take it all out and try to split it evenly if I can. How's our spark powder in this thing doing? Oh, this is not using spark powder anymore. This is using uh, gasoline now. So, yeah, that's another problem. 
All right, so yeah, I'm going to take all this out and we'll see how this goes. So I have to split it myself. So we can put a hundred in each one. The BT spark powder and the regular spark powder doesn't stack, of course, because it's a totally different thing. Then I have 200 more. Okay, so if I split this stack in half and then another stack of BT powder in half, I can put that in there. Uh, that in there. That in there. And that in there. Then I have another BT spark powder I could split in half. Split this 50 in half. Split this 50 in half. 25. 25. 25. And 25. I have another 80. So I split that in half. Split this in half. And split this in half. 20, 20, 20, and 20. And that leaves me with the regular spark powder, which I can put over here. Nope. And then I could just turn these on. And that, like, gives me, what, like, around 200 per 200 spark powder. All right. Yeah, I'm just going to put that back up. All right. Put this narcotic off in here. Um, I don't really need the regular arrows right now, so I'm just going to leave those off in there as well. Because I'm going to, if anything, I'll use my uh, pistol for things. All right, so I need to put the jars down for the stuff, so... There, that down here. Okay, disable snapping. So this is going to be for the basic kibble jar. The simple kibble jar. The regular kibble jar, the superior kibble jar, and the exceptional kibble jar, and the Extraordinary Kibble Jar. All right. Let us deposit and distribute kibble. Put into the regular kibble jar, please. There you go. And there's right back there in the back in the regular kibble jar. Of course, this isn't going to work now that I think about it, because I'm going to have to take it out, you know. I can't take it out another way. So, hmm.
Hmm. Where is a... I know what I want to do. Uh, I may have one. I'm not sure. No. Okay. I'm missing something. Where is like wooden storage? I just want to make a storage crate. Okay. Green drop coming. The reason why I want to do this is I want to see if I can put this off in here. Can I? No. Alright, so let's see. I'm going to need to pick up this door real quick. So let me put this like right here. Okay, I'm now stuck. Let's try it again. Ow. There we go. So now what I want to do is I want my jars. I have a little bit more room to look up here so I can push them down better, I think. Why does... Okay. Push down that last one wrong there. Go. Pick up the simple cable jar. Regular cable jar. Okay. And then there is the superior cable jar, the exceptional, and the extraordinary. There we go. We'll put it down there like that. I think it's better. And then I need my door back. Always out. Yeah. There we go. We can have more room if I have to go in there. All right. And put that up. Drop that over there. Let's see what we're going to get here. And our drop next to our base. So what do we got? Oh. Real quick. I'll just do that. There we go. We're going to get some cooked meat, some imprints inside the gloves, some wood wall doorways, windows, wood stuff. Wood spike walls, wood ladders, wood gateway, and wood gate. All right. Well, those hide gloves are better than what I have on, so we're going to use those. And I'm just going to get rid of that. 
And then we're going to go inside and drop off all the wood stuff into our structures box. Um, I don't need this cooked meat, so I'm just going to throw it out. Put the kibble in. Distribution kibble into the kibble. Regular kibble jar, please. Um, uh oh. That's not good. Hold on. I think I broke something. There we go. There it goes. Into 100%. And... Really? There's nothing in it. Well, that's bugged now. I want you to go... Oh, that's right. I didn't push save, did I? There we go. There you go. Now we're getting things right. Cool. Okay. It is on preserving, right? It is on preserving. Okay. Great. So, I have everything over here smelting up. Going to take a while. <laughs> Going to take a real long while. But we are doing really good on that. I guess now it's time to go and check on... Uh, check and see what we can do for bugs, I guess. Uh, so we can get cementing paste going. I also going to want organic polymer if I can. So I need to see about getting a Pelagornis. I see them around. I just, I need some, I need one that's close to uh, land. Because I would like it not to be in the water when I try to tame it. <laughs> that's kind of dangerous. So I'll see y'all next time. Y'all have a nice time, whatever time it is in y'all's part of the world.